Hey there, David Risley here at Blog Marketing Academy, um, and I'm here to talk about uh, WP Engine. Now, this is a managed WordPress hosting environment, and what I've actually been doing for the last, well, several hours, I spent a few hours on it yesterday, uh, is transitioning uh, many of my main WordPress sites over to WP Engine. So I'm actually officially making a hosting change. The Blog Mar Marketing Academy is now hosted with WP Engine, and I'm in the process of moving my, uh, my tech site over to WP Engine as well. Uh, why WP Engine? I mean, I know that there's uh, some people who are, are looking at a company like WP Engine and they're kind of curious uh, if they should use it and if it's worth it. Um, I was hosted with Servant before. Now, Servant uh, is a company that does uh, dedicated servers and they do VPS. And I've, I've been very happy with Servant. I don't have any problem with Servant. Um, but yet I'm, and I'm still going to keep my Servant account open, by the way, because I have some things that don't use WordPress uh, that I'm going to keep over there. Um, and, and, you know, I still like to have a very flexible hosting environment because the thing about WP Engine is that it is WordPress exclusively. So if your site is not using WordPress, you're pretty much SOL when it comes to a site like WP Engine. I mean, you can just tell by the name, right? WP Engine. Um, but when it comes to WordPress, man alive, these people have it down. Uh, the site is faster than hell. Um, I love the fact that I don't have to worry about caching plugins anymore because it's all built in. I don't have to worry about uh, making sure that my backups are working uh, because it's all built in. Um, I don't have to worry about setting up my own private, uh, what I used to call a sandbox, which is basically like, whoops, Woo! Uh, a copy of my blog that I could screw it around with and not have it be out there in the public. All of that is built right into WP Engine. All I have to do is literally hit a button. It creates a staging area. I can play around. And then when I'm happy with it, I just hit a button, another button and it just goes live with the whole darn thing. It does not get any easier than that. Um, so all these things I used to have to do myself... I no longer have to do. I don't even have to upgrade WordPress anymore because they do it for me. It's like having a little bit of an IT guy on my staff who's their job is just to make my stuff work. And, and it's just incorporated into my hosting bill. Now, so that's the main reason I moved over to WP Engine because it's fully managed, dedicated to WordPress, which is pretty much what I use. Um, and, you know, rather than hiring some guy who's just their job is to keep my site up you know if anything ever got hacked it'd be their job to fix it wp engine does all that um I, it just it was cheaper to do it this way so uh, that's the story that's why i've switched over to wp engine now do i recommend it to you i for here's the thing i definitely recommend wp engine to you however i'll be honest if you're f just starting out if your site is literally brand spanking new um then wp engine might be a little overkill uh it is uh, a, a little bit more expensive than a standard hostgator or bluehost style hosting account uh because it's not a, a standard shared hosting environment. I mean, it is shared, but it's just set up differently. Uh, so therefore, the plans are more expensive than if you went over to Bluehost. So if you're just starting out and you literally have just a handful of visitors a day, Bluehost is perfectly fine. Uh, perfectly fine. And would I recommend HostGator anymore? I don't, I don't know if I would. I've been recommending HostGator on this site, and it's mainly because I want to recommend something that it's going to be in the price range of a, of a majority of my readers. But the thing is, ever since HostGator got acquired uh, a while back, I've been hearing more horror stories about HostGator. Uh, people getting hacked and just things not going right. And uh, I've, I've heard some people say that the, the, the quality of support has gone down. I have not personally used HostGator in well over a year, so I don't have the, the recent experience with HostGator. I was just trusting that uh, it was good then and it should still be good. But when I start having people that I know who, who have been using HostGator start complaining, and one of them, actually a good friend of mine who was with HostGator is now moving to WP Engine, um, I'm like, okay, I, I think I need to stop recommending HostGator because I don't want to recommend anything to people uh, who that might be problematic down the road. So if you're just starting out, I think that you should go with Bluehost. Uh, I know that they're owned by the same company, 
as HostGator, but I have not heard any of the problems with Bluehost. And that says something. I mean, reputation says a lot. Uh, but my personal favorite is definitely WP Engine at this point. Um, I, I've only been with them a day or so since I've been making this video, but I'm really happy with the company so far. I, I contacted their support people twice yesterday uh, using the real-time chat. Both of them knew exactly what they were doing. They were extremely fast. One guy, he says, okay, well, it might, this might take a little bit uh, longer to do in chat. How about I just simply give you a call? And within about five minutes, they called my phone and I was talking with to their support guy and we got the whole thing worked out um, so their, their support has been awesome um, and that's one of the things I love about a good hosting company so anyway that's where I've gone WP engine um, and um, that's about it definitely recommend that you check it out and I will have links inside the toolbox up in the header on blogmarketingacademy.com and down at the bottom because I'm gonna make a, a, everybody know that I'm hosted with WP engine I'm a content marketer I'm in the business of helping those of you guys with blogs use your blog effectively and there's no doubt that um, Many of my readers don't know how to do all the upgrades and all that stuff with WordPress. WP Engine takes care of it for you. They don't know how to, to tweak WordPress for performance. WP takes care of that. Uh, WP Engine takes care of that for you. I really think that WP Engine is going to be a really good fit for most of my readers, as long as you're willing to pay a little bit more to not have to worry about any of that stuff. If you really are the do-it-yourself type and you just want to pay like the absolute bottom barrel pricing for everything, go to Bluehost because I don't think they're going to let you down either. Okay, that's about it. Talk to you soon.